I'm not so cold, right? Japanese music scene is a mixture of a lot of stuff. I mean, there's people that, I mean, it's, it's the same all over the world, I guess, but um, there's more of um, pop stuff that only Japan does, and it, it, it's actually a small scene for rock yeah. and our style of music, but there's been more bands coming out, um, and then bands like us and Crossfade, they're doing it outside of the, our home ground, so it's, it's definitely been cool. Um, first band I ever listened to that was heavy was Limp Bizkit. Then I got into Korn, Slipknot, you know, the same old new metal thing. And then, but my biggest influence as a singer would definitely be Brandon Boyd, thank you guys. In my hometown, um, it was Hoobastank, 500 cap maybe, that's cool. Well, when we released it in Japan, we weren't sure. Um, we, we, we never knew that it would be actually released all over the world. Um, it just happened naturally because we, when we met Raw Power Management along the way, and they, they saw our show, they just wanted us to do something outside, and we just, we just said, okay, and we were just going with the flow. We, I mean, we talked to Hopeless along the way, and they wanted to re-release it, and it's cool to have a record out there finally because right now with YouTube, people are watching it all over the world. So it was cool to have that physical copy out. Um, we recorded it in New Jersey with David Bendis. Um, we did an EP with him before that. So I mean, it was, it was our second time back there. We did two months um, of recording with pre-production. Pre um, yeah, it, it was cool. Um, we got we had people coming into the studio doing stuff um, along the way. We got to meet we we got to meet some other musicians, bands while they were doing that. So it, it was um, cool two months in New Jersey, except for that New Jersey is cold and boring. <laughs> Fan has ever done. I mean, I mean, if they come to the shows, man, yeah. that's enough. Oh, there's, there's one fan in Japan that keeps giving me, like, tape to cover up scars, but it's not like I have relevant scars, like, any scars that you can see, but, like, I have, like, rolls and rolls of this tape at home. I get, I get these bags of, like, snacks and stuff that I really like, but there's always this roll of tape. Ooh. I mean... I mean, I'm living the dream right now. Papa Roach is one band I definitely want to tour with. Um, like I said, Incubus, um, Lincoln Park, Limbic, Limp Bizkit can, like, I'm not doing them. They're just too good. They, they have that groove going on, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to be too intimidated there. I'm not joking, Limp Bizkit, yeah. put them in there. I, I definitely want to do, no matter who it is, I definitely want to mix it up, do some, like, half Japanese bands, half international bands. We're writing a new record right now, um, so I think summer, early summer, we might go over to the U.S., do some tracking there, um, hopefully fall, winter around there, new release, and after that, maybe come back for a tour. Good, I mean, we've, we've wrote like 50 songs in our career that, um, and, but for the first time, we're actually going back to 
a process that we haven't took in like years and years. We're we're like in a room, like the five of us, just like writing down bands and songs that we like and trying to figure out like what influences we want to use, like getting in touch with our roots, that kind of stuff, and trying to figure out the new and final sound of our band, I guess. I listen to Katy Perry. I don't know if that's a good idea. Hopefully we get to meet you all and hopefully you come out to our show, so definitely.